first to cover breaking news with Kristen Bean and your accurate first alert weather forecast with meteorologist Ed Russo. You're watching WSBT 22 first in the morning. The Boys and Girls Club of St. Joseph County plays a pivotal role in the young, in the lives of young people in our area. From a pool of more than 15,000 applicants, seven were selected as finalists in the Youth of the Year program, and we have the winner this morning. Joining us live are two winners. We've got Mickey Kidder, you're the winner of the Great Big Kid, Correct. right? Correct. And Trey Nutter, winner of Youth of the Year. Yes. So let's talk about the Youth of the Year program. What is this? Explain it to me. Sure. It's an opportunity for the local community, in particular via the Boys and Girls Club, to really recognize the tremendous youth in our community. And in particular, people like Trey, who just serve as such great leaders and role models for their peers. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to recognize them and congratulate them for all their hard work. And of course, mentors like you as well. It's been an incredible experience, uh, an opportunity for leaders in the community to really invest themselves in the Boys and Girls Club and in the youth and serve as mentors to some pretty incredible kids. So uh, people apply to, to, or at least are entered into this, I guess, not contest, but selection process. 15,000 applicants, it sounds like. They chose seven as like the top, and you won. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, in your opinion, just in the short time that you guys have known each other, why do you think he won? Well, Trey's an incredible young man. Um, he brings just um, some energy to the room every time he walks in. He lights up the room. But I think more importantly, his decision making has been incredibly mature in his short life already. And, and that's what set him apart. He has set an example for everyone around him. Um, you can't help but admire this incredible young man. Such nice things. Trey, uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about how long you've been in, in, involved in the Boys and Girls Club and, and why you started. Um, I've been involved in the Boys and Girls Club since I was about six. And you, let's note, you are a freshman in high yes, school, so um, that's quite a long Washington time. Washington High School. Uh, what, your mom is a single mom. Yes. Why did she want you to be involved that, all, all those years ago? Um, kind of keep me out of trouble, I guess, and she could take us to work. So, and she didn't have to worry about paying for anything, so. And here you are, a successful freshman in high school, <laughs> now Youth of the Year. What do you credit your success to, your good decisions, aside from a you know, being smart, of course, but, I mean, what do you, what do you think made a difference to you? Um, the fact that I didn't really have a father figure in the house and that a lot of my friends were making a lot of wrong decisions and you hear a lot about African-American males doing uh, negative things, so I wanted to be the first one to do something positive, I guess. You've made a lot of good choices. <laughs> Um, and earlier I said, what do you credit it to? And you said your mom. Yeah. And I think that's great. I think that's great that your mom has been a big part of that too. But so has the Boys and Girls Club. So what, give me some things that were some great memories, like some things that you did that you will never forget. Um, I, I got to eat lunch with some of the Notre Dame football players. I never would have dreamed of doing anything like that. Um, never would have had the money to do anything like that. Um, I've been part of uh, ROV. I've been a part of... Um, basketball games like I've been able to go to Notre Dame basketball games got tickets for free and everything so that's awesome Trey's Big a really good basketball player too. <laughs> oh good to know <laughs> yeah. so we should watch for you that soon you'll be eating with the young kids at <laughs> the boys right. and girls club that's awesome so tell me about you you are um, the big great big kid of the year why great do you think kid. you got that honor well, so this was a great opportunity uh, to do two things. One is to uh, generate some funds for the Boys and Girls Club. But, you know, we, we really like to say it's not really about the money at the end of the day. It's about the impact that that money has on the community. And so it was an honor for us, myself and my peers as great big kid candidates, uh, to, yes, generate philanthropy to the Boys and Girls Club, but more importantly, to serve as mentors. And, you know, we all grew through this experience as well. Trey and, and his fellow uh, Youth of the Year candidates really taught us a heck of a lot over this five-month process. Awesome. So if people want to get involved in the Boys and Girls Club, what do they do? Like how, if you're a mom out there that says, I want my kid to be yeah. like Trey, how do they get their kids involved? Just show up. Um, so what's wonderful about the Boys and Girls Club, it's $50 a year for your child to participate in the club. Um, but if, but don't let that hesitate you if you can't afford that. You know, no questions asked for any family that shows up. So just show up at the O.C. Carmichael uh, Center, in particular on Sample Street, 
and uh, it's a welcoming environment for any child in the community. Awesome. Well, congratulations to you both. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. I expect to see big things out of you, <laughs> young man. He's a freshman, so we've still got a couple years before you graduate, but you're going to college, right? And yeah. you plan to be what? You told me earlier. A marine biologist or an architect. Good for you. Thank you guys Thank both you. so much.